Hello world! Welcome to my very first video on my journey of discovering and understanding Unity and C-Sharp. My name is Gideon and I'm from South Africa. Although I had cast a few cursory glances in Unity's general direction about two years ago, I really doubt it had noticed me at all. I don't blame it. Smiling at all those manly game developers with their impressive portfolios did consume a lot of its time and effort. These game devs, as the cool kids call them, had both the abs and the mathf.abs in place, and I did not have a single asset to offer. The only thing I knew about C Sharp is that it's slightly higher than C. For a while, I couldn't find the time to properly introduce myself. Oh, who am I kidding? We all know I could not muster up the courage to say even a simple hi. What would I even say after a shy and uncertain greeting? And that was the way life was, and seems would always be. But then, one completely regular day in February of 2019, something happened. I was strolling through the park and there, on one of the benches, sat Unity, not doing anything particularly specific. I noticed that there were no prancing game devs around that day. When Unity's gaze turned in my general direction, I instinctively looked away. But then, I looked back again. And for the briefest of moments, Unity smiled at me. Somehow, I did manage to eke out a high, and the rest is history. Well, actually, hopefully the rest is future. Five months later, I have managed to learn enough to put together the environment you see in this video. Almost all of the visual and audio based assets are free assets from around the Unity community and its extensive family of enthusiastic relatives and add-ons. I have created some small assets myself, but up until now, the biggest asset I have had on offer is bringing all the pieces together and writing scripts that allow you to specify different ways in which you want the environment to come alive. During the next few weeks, I will attempt to produce some videos covering most of the functionality you see in this one. My plan is to consider the basic idea in real-world terms and English first, almost like a summary or roadmap of what we want to achieve with each subsystem, and why. Next, I will consider the translation of this roadmap language into Unity language, explaining some of the tools that Unity and the community has available that can help us to get to the destination. Finally, I will show how the plan is actually implemented in Unity and c -sharp along with an explanation of the variety that can be achieved with proper parameterization.
So, I would like to invite you to go on this journey of discovery and understanding with me. Maybe you're a family member or friend who felt somewhat obligated to at least watch my first video and think you may hang around for a bit longer. Maybe you're a fellow Unity enthusiast who found this video by chance or referral. Maybe you're simply a bit of a nerd who will appreciate learning a bit more about something that I, a bit more than a bit of a nerd, find really interesting. Maybe you're a combination of these or have a different reason you find yourself here. Either way, please press like if you like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Also, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see first or any other questions and remarks. In my second video, we'll take a quick look at the different subsystems on offer and their main characteristics.